It's time to get to work in Hirschfelden. Hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. In this episode, we are basically just... Ooh. Oh dear. We're basically just uh, getting our feet wet in Hirschfeld, and we've been doing Leighton Lakes all the way up until this point, but I'm getting kind of bored with that area. I want to do something different. Uh, there was a roe deer over there, and I think I actually have a collar for that. Uh, let's see. So we're not we're not going to need... Let's just swap this out really quick, because I want to go try to get that. Um, I don't think we're going to need the turkey stuff. I, don't, I mean, I don't even know what animals are here. But I'm going to assume the Predator Jack Rabbit collar is good. I'm going to assume the Deer collar is good. But we are going to take this Roe Deer collar. Because that one works out to a long range. And I just heard one over there. So let me get in my inventory quick, real quick. I wasn't ready for that. Uh, I got I to get in here really quick. Pull up my Roe Deer collar. And then we'll pull up our Roe Deer collar. And then... <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the collars here. The antler rattler collar works on fallow and fallow reindeer, caribou, lesser kudu, against black and black bug. Okay. Oh wait, fallow deer. Yeah, there's fallow deer here, right? So I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to buy this antler rattler because I don't. I don't think I have that right. It's not in my list of calls over here. Callers over here. Yeah, we need to buy that so I can. Uh... Okay, so we'll buy that. I'm really looking forward to this grunt collar, but not quite there yet. We got that one. Yeah, so let's go ahead and put that into our inventory as well. Where is the rattler collar? Can I only carry? Th I can only no, that's not correct. I can I know I can carry more. There we go. Okay, and then we'll get to our inventory. We'll drag this roe deer. So hold on. We have a roe deer collar, and then we have the antler collar. The roe deer is just for roe deer. The fallow deer, yeah. So we'll put that over there because that's only for one species. We'll put that over here. But I believe that said it was a, I wish I had like mental rewind because I, I believe that said it was a roe deer. So we'll just, we'll kind of, I don't even remember. I, I wasn't ready for it, so I don't remember how far away it said it was. But anyways, uh, we'll walk off in this direction. I'll see if I can get eyes on the deer that made a call over here. We'll keep on trying to call it in and we'll find out what happens. Oh, not that one. Okay, we got a roe deer over this way. Kinda wanna shoot it with the bow if I can get it to come over this way. So it's attentive right now. Okay. I mean, I can hit it from here with the bow. Should be able to hit it with the bow from here. Uh, but I'm not sure about the terrain. Oh, well, can I... Hold on. Let me... You know what? Can I spot it with the bow? Does that count as looking down the scope? Oh, it does. Okay, cool. So we'll do... That. Oh, I missed. Wow, how did I miss that? Okay, well, that sucked. <laughs> well, let's check out what level our hunting companion is. We, st I think we still got another couple levels before we're ready for another thing for him. But yeah, that kind of sucked. But that's okay. The quest I have is to follow tracks for a, for one of these deer. I, I can't believe I missed that. I was pretty sure. Oh, hold on. I think I probably. That's. That's what it was. Yeah, I should have did the ranging for it. I can't imagine that's still there, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll head off in that direction. So, I need to find five tracks from this... Oh, fallow deer. Was that a fallow deer? No, that was a roe deer. Okay, well... Um, yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to just walk over here 
And after they all ran off, I'm not sure that I have any chance of sneaking up on them. Yeah, he's running away. I mean, yeah, clearly he's running away because I'm like shambling through the woods, but... <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. It's just, it's not, it's still not a part of my, it's still not a part of my checks to look at my zeroing. I need to... I need to make it part of my checklist when I'm going through getting ready to shoot things. It's, I'm not used to thinking about it. So, that's probably why I missed, because, because well, I don't know. I, shouldn't the rangefinder account for that? Let's check. So, right now, it's telling me 45 yards. Uh, so, 45 yards, 42 yards. Yeah, it adjusts based on my zeroing. So with this particular weapon, I mean, yeah, I know I still need to do the zeroing, but that should not affect my accuracy if the sight itself is accounting for it. So I'm not sure what happened there then. I'm pretty sure the I'm pretty sure the green dot was on the animal. So I'm not exactly sure why we missed. That doesn't make any sense to me. But it doesn't matter. What does matter is we missed and you know, Gotta do better. <laughs> I gotta do better. Uh, you know, the only person you can blame is yourself. So, there's that. Uh, I'm gonna continue down in this direction because the wind is not favorable going to the north. I don't know. Maybe I'll. Uh, I don't know. Well, we we need to find tracks here in Rathfelton that have uh, that are. That are, uh, what are they? What are they supposed to be? Fallow deer? Oh no, harvest two fallow deer. Yeah, it's all fallow deer. But these were all, those were roe deer, right? That's what they were? What's this? Ooh. I mean, it's probably not even still here. Um, I'm not really sure what my plan is. This is a new area for me, so I don't have any idea where anything might be. Maybe I'll maybe I'll run over this way and start to try to scout out these various things, and we'll see what we come up with along the way. I think that might be my plan for now. And if we come across some fallow deer tracks, we come across some fallow deer tracks. Otherwise, we'll just, you know, we'll get to know this new area a little bit. I have hunted in Hirschfelden before, but um, that was, you know, back when I first started playing the game a couple of years ago. I don't really remember anything, so... Maybe we'll have a little bit of a. Uh, maybe we'll have a little bit of luck. We'll come across some tracks that we need. Um, I do need to go up to this area up here to harvest some. What do I need to harvest up there? I already forgot. Harvest fallow. Yeah, it's all fallow deer right now. So we'll see what we can get. Uh, we'll run off in this direction. See what we can find. I'll bring you back when there is something interesting to see. Okay, we got we got a we got another road deer over here. We're gonna try another shot with a bow. I'm gonna try to use. Oh, oh, there's a fallow deer over there. I'm gonna try to use the uh, the 150 100 rule, where you can run up to 150, walk up to 100. Let's see how far exactly. So this is 120. Okay, let me crouch here. So we're gonna do an experiment here. I wanna see I wanna see if I can even just I wanna see if I can take the deer from this far away. Okay, we're within a hundred yards now. I know the effective range for the bow technically is not that far away, but I just wanna try it. Oh, we hit. Ooh, dang. Okay. So that's the long range shots are definitely possible with this one. Got another one calling over there. We need to go back over there and check out those uh, fallow deer tracks. But again, I'm not my my presence of mind is not there. I know that was a deer that just called, but I couldn't tell which kind it was. Ooh. Nope. What's that? 
Okay, it's another roe deer. So I'm just, I'm kind of just trying to work up my, just kind of just trying to work up my bow skill at this point. Trying to get a little bit over the hill so I can see just a little bit better. Let me hit it. I don't know where we hit it. It's very difficult to see it through all of that. Uh, it's very difficult to see through all of the grass. So she's going up over the hill there. All right, what's this track here? Red fox droppings. What's this track here? Roe deer. Okay, well, we'll go harvest our roe deer over here. Um, and then we'll follow that one up along the way. Come on. I think, yeah, he's trying to track that one. Uh, let's come over here. Well, I mean, if that's just going to sit there. Hold on, I'm trying to get to that. Right over the pot, right over the top of it. All right, we'll just we'll shoot it. I think again, we just got a kill. We got an instant kill shot, so that's good. Uh, track. I just I just want to get him to get tracking experience. I'm not sure exactly how. There we go. That was quicker. I'm not sure exactly how experience works in the tracking part of it. I believe. Mm, okay. Um, I know that they have two different track. They have two, two different leveling systems. There's a level of the dog, and then there's a tracking level. And I'm pretty sure the tracking level is what's important when it comes to. Um, sorry, I'm trying to. Here we go. Hold on. This may be our uh, first red fox kill. Certainly not going to complain about it. There he is. Okay. Take a second to... He's trying to watch him. He's walking. His health's not... It doesn't look like his health is going down, so I'm going to shoot him again. Oh, I missed him. Jeez, okay. Uh, yeah, I suck at this. <laughs> we'll let him go then, because I've already wasted enough rounds on that. Uh, yeah. Oh, is this another another zeroing thing? Ugh, okay. I need, like, a checklist or something that I can pop up in front of my face or something, because that's, yet again, that's what bit me. So. It's so, it's so weird that I'm having such a hard time remembering that. But like any new skill, you have to learn to integrate it into your package of things that you're doing. And until you do, that's what you're going to run into. Um, so we're going to run over this way. Ideally, we should find... Let's see. Let's get him tracking now. The only blood trail that should be over here is the one that we were searching for before. Oh. Well... We'll, we'll follow that in a second. Let's go get this information point, because this is what I was coming over here for in the first place, and then I ran by it because I guess I saw a deer or something. So let's get the little info point here. Waken, lords and ladies gay, the mist has left the mountain gray. Oh, you can read that if you want. I hate poems. <laughs> you can read that if you want. <sighs> Okay, my friend, uh, we're, my friends, we're gonna go follow that deer and ideally find the body for that. But yeah, several several opportunities for things in a row. Okay, so okay, didn't go too far at all. What is that? 
Ring necked oh, pheasant. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. See what we got here. Yeah, hit her way in the back. It was hard to see through all that grass, but at least we brought her down. We're gonna get some bow score out of that, so that's good. Um, I'd like to find off in this direction. I heard, I thought I heard a fallow deer calling, and we need to find some tracks for that. So, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wander around over in this area. Oh, it was red deer, not fallow deer. Okay. I mean, I'd like to kill a red deer, but I really want to try to find some fallow because that's a quest item. So I'm going to run off and just kind of, I think we'll, we'll hit this one, run south and just, I'm going to kind of zigzag my way through these points of interest here. And hopefully along the way, we will find what we're looking for. Okay. I'm not sure what this is, but uh, it's some kind of interesting thing. Let's see. Uh, not telling me. Oh, here we go. A grave mound dating back to the early Bronze Age, situated in an eerily, eerie circular, eerie circular clearing amongst the trees. Okay, very cool. Your kit. <laughs> okay, I wasn't gonna say anything if it didn't work out, but uh, I had some wild boar run across me, and uh. I just, I emptied a clip of, I emptied a magazine of uh, 22 rounds into one of them just to see. Because <laughs> I need to, I need to increase my pistol score. So, <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. Uh, it took him a little bit to go down, but we'll follow him and uh, go find out. I mean, I emptied five rounds into him, so. <laughs> I know it's absurd and it's not an ethical kill, but ideally it should get me some pistol score and it'll get me one step closer to getting the, uh, to getting the, the, I have a while to get the scope part, but I can at least get a better set of sights. Uh, the, the, I think it's a reflex sight that I can get for it, which will be better. It'll at least be better so I can have a better idea and a little bit more situational awareness as to what I'm pointing at. Because, <clears throat> as I said in a previous vis video, I'm not very good. I was never very good with pistols. The the way the sights align, just I don't know. There's something about it that just doesn't work with my eyes, or I don't know. I just suck at it. I'm much better with a rifle. But anyways, um, if I can get some kind of reflex style sight, that would be much more, that would be much preferable. And then when I get the scope, we'll be able to take on long range targets. So ideally we'll be able to do all of that. We'll see. But we're going to follow this trail until we find our boar, our wild boar. It's funny. Our, oh, here he is. Our first wild boar kill. Down to the 22 pistol. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I know that you guys are going to be like, what the hell, dude? But I mean, I, 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 my, my immediate thought was, is like, dude, these guys are super slow. They'll be easy to hit with the pistol. Let me empty a, let me empty a magazine into them and into one of them and see what happens. <laughs> oh my God. We got, okay. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was right. I was right in the center for most of it, but uh, yeah. So let's uh, see how much pistol score we get out of that. Probably not a lot. Wait for it. Handgun score twenty three. I don't think that's gonna unlock anything though. I think I need. Uh, I think I need two fifty for the the uh, first sight that I can unlock. And right now my hunter is at a. Uh, 159 so we got to kill we got a lot of things to kill before we're gonna be able to do that one ring necked pheasant nice okay um so I, right now i'm mostly just trying to unlock all of these little points of interest over here so i'll run up this way then we'll run over here and <clears throat> see what hirschfelden has to offer but for now oh it's like right over here it's probably just gonna be another hunting stand Red Fox is fleeing. I can't help but think of Star Trek every time I, I, I hear the... Oh, Red Block. It's not Red Fox. Red Block. Never mind. Star Trek the Next Generation reference for those of you who know. Yeah, another hunting stand. Uh, and then the next thing is, yeah, way up to the north. So, yeah, I'm just going to run off in this direction. I'm going to keep my pistol out in case anything else decides to just run in front of me like that. Um, maybe we'll get some rabbits over here. 
I'm gonna hang out for just. I'm gonna hang out in there recording for just a second, just in case some rabbits pop out in front of us, because this feels like a place where rabbits might be hiding around and doing stuff. We should flush them out. There's, I mean, I, I have to imagine there's rabbits here. Hmm. I mean, I know I'm running, but still. What was that? A roe deer warning call. It's 100 yards away. Can we get him on the... Can we get him? Oh, right there. Okay, well, I'm out of I'm out of bow ammo, so we're just going to shoot him here. Oh, he's behind me. Uh, the roe deer, right? So I need to... Is it this one? All right, well, as much as I don't want to... My, my, I'm my own worst enemy because of my impatience. This is why I don't go hunting in real life, because I don't have the patience to sit all day. <laughs> I don't have the patience to sit all day wait, waiting for things. Okay, well, that's a feed zone. Somebody mentioned to me that uh, f these zones that I, cr that I go to actually are what are either increase the spawns or are, what sp are, are actually what it is that spawns animals. I would like some experienced players to tell me if that's actually the case. Okay. So we're going to take the pistol and do that. Hopefully get his attention. Oh. Um, I don't know if I got that one or not. I was trying to go for the mail, but my pistol did... It didn't do what I was intending it to do. Oh, yeah, we dropped her. It was a her. We got the we got the female this time. I wasn't really going for her, but that's what we ended up with. Looks like I led her pretty well. For the most part. <laughs> okay. Um again, I'm trying to get up to here and then we'll go over there. So I will see you at the next point of interest. Okay, I was uh Heading off in this way, we got two red foxes over here, so how far away? Oh yeah, they're far, far away. Um, 150, I think the 164 zeroing is probably good. Alright, I'm going to try to take this one here. Nice, we got both of them. This is why I wanted the semi-automatic. Oh, and I'm, I'm out of ammo for it, too. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to take me a while to start figuring out what the lead needs to be for these weapons, because... But the zeroing definitely helped. I, I Like, if I can if I can keep that in my brain, that zeroing is a thing, <laughs> I should have a better time at this, but... Uh, let me get my hunter mate, my hunter mate out, because I don't... I, wasn't, I don't know exactly where I saw them. I thought one of these was in the field over here. Was he further into the field than I thought? Where did he... They both dropped. Did he run? I thought... I, I'm pretty sure they both fell down where I shot them. Am I, like, losing my mind? Alright, well, let's go over here and find that one. I'm confused. I could have swore I saw them both lying on the ground. Yeah. Are they more over... Are they just... Uh, I'm confused. Well, let's go... Okay, that's just a... That was just a hunting stand. Am I just... Oh, it'd be nice if we could shoot those. Okay, so we definitely got this one. I could have swore we shot the other one, though. Was he further? I don't know. My, my memory, I have a horrible short-term memory. Okay, where do we get this guy? I uh, got him in the leg, but the, I mean, that's the cool thing about shooting small animals, the smaller animals, is, is that you don't have to be as accurate to bring them down quickly. A hit's a hit, and they generally go down, and they're done. Um, you know, I could have swore... I could have swore... That I saw the other one laying on the ground. What 
was that? What was this we just looked at? It's not a fallow deer, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, which direction is it running? It's going that way. I'll go look at that in a second. Well, no. Let's go over here and see if we can find this thing, because... I don't understand. I could have... I could have sworn that I hit that one. And maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just wishful thinking memory? I, I don't know. I mean... I guess there is only one... Am I, like, losing my mind? Did... I could have swore that that first one dropped instantly, which is why I went after the second one. And I thought that that one was over in, like, this part of the field, but... I have no idea what's going on here. I have to be losing my mind or something. Um, man, I was like a hundred percent sure that I dropped that first one, but it, I'm not seeing it here. It was out. It was right out here in the middle of the. F I am so confused right now. Did it just fall and it got back up because I didn't kill it? I saw it fall to the ground and I am and, and I am. Okay. Well, the hunting pressure here is not like bright, a brighter pink or anything, so I guess I didn't. How did I hit that? It fell down and it's not dead. I am so confused. I am very, very confused. But I guess there's nothing I can do about it, so. Oh, we finished the... Could you investigate the calls between the fallow gear? Okay. Um, yeah. I, I don't... I don't know what's going on here. Maybe I'll review the footage after this and see what happened, but... In my brain... I pulled the trigger, it fell down, I was satisfied that it was a kill, and then I turned over to go get the other one as it was running away. But maybe I just kind of nicked it and it fell down. I don't know. It does not it does not appear that I have any additional hunting pressure here, so like it's not any it's not any darker or it's not any brighter, I guess. I don't know. That was weird. Anyways, uh, I'm going to run over to this one. That'll be the last thing that we do. With any luck, we'll come across some things we can shoot with the pistol. But outside of that, uh bleh. That was very weird. It just kind of goes to show what your brain does to you when you're in the middle of things, because I was... I, I had zero doubt in my mind that that was a dead fox. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got both of them. But no, the one that was easy, I somehow missed it or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll run over in this direction, get the last thing, and then we'll be done. Okay, we got ourselves a roe deer here. Looks like she went down immediately. Is it just me, or did she fall in a very weird way? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you know, just a, a, a shot of opportunity there. Nothing, nothing specific that I was trying to get done. It's just money's money. There's nothing else around here, so might as well grab it. Just have the dog track it. Ideally. Come on. Come on. It's right here. It's an extremely weird way for that to fall. Nice. Every little bit helps. So what? Left lung and liver. Very cool. 
still trying to head over to this, whatever this point of interest or whatever this point of interest is over here. It's probably a hunting stand, but I don't know. So I'm going to go check it out. And as expected, it was a hunting stand. So um, not really sh we're we've been at this episode pretty long at this point. So uh, for, you know, considering what my episodes normally are or for this hunt. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and call it there. Got a fair bit done today, but uh, hopefully you had fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and pushes the video out to more viewers. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you know when the next video comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description. Uh, trying to build this into a full time gig eventually. So, uh, you know, you got to start finding people who will support you in doing that. I'm looking for ideas for cool uh, exclusive content that I could produce that would make memberships of some kind of any kind worth your time and your money. Uh, so leave me a comment down below if you have any ideas for what you think that would be what you'd like to see. Uh, I'm trying to put together a list of things I could possibly do. Again, I really appreciate your time. Hope you had lots of fun and be sure to come back for the next one. Bye, guys.